The pioneer of the elite barbecue, Napoleon. As tough as the general and refined as the brandy, this grill will sear your steak as well as it will toast your marshmallows. The Prestige Pro 500 will satisfy any chef. Right from the everyday outdoor chef who thinks he's the king of his own grill to restaurant style chefs. 80,000 BTUs and an 1800 degree infrared burner make this barbecue the king of the backyard. It takes 85 people and a lot of sophisticated machinery to manufacture the Prestige Pro 500. The Napoleon plant for the grill division is about 150,000 square feet. That's 14,000 square meters, a little more than the surface area of three football fields. The main ingredient in this grill is stainless steel. We use a lot of stainless steel in this unit. We go through enough steel to build uh, 6,000 Mustang cars. That's 20 million pounds of steel a year. CNC laser machines make precision cuts to the steel, stamping out each part of the barbecue. One of the most important parts is the front control panel. The laser cuts out all the openings, cuts out the shape. Once the control panel is cut, it's sent to the silk screening department. Silk screening takes and puts all of the, the wording on the control panel, lets people know where the on, the off is for the, the different controls. The ink is baked at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours long enough to slow cook a chuck roast. Once it's finished in the silk screen, it comes back up to the brake presses. The brake presses that we use are a 65-ton brake press. 65 tons of pressure centered on a ridge is like 38 mid-sized cars stacked on a razor's edge. Just about every piece of steel on the Pro 500 feels the pressure of this machine. Now, the most complicated part, the mechanics, the brains behind the barbecue are added to the control panel. This is just the switch for the LED lights. Just plug that in, grab a set of lights. The lights are checked and tested. Then a pre-made manifold is attached. These are the controls that will fire up the grill. I'm just making sure the wires don't get tangled up inside the manifold. And the bezels go on, this little hole goes over the LED lights. And then I check at the back to make sure that it gets a spark. And there you go, a barbecue with bling. Bling is one thing, an easy start is another. Napoleon turned a hand to overcoming the frustration of barbecue ignition failure. The Pro 500 has a jet fire ignition system that lets one burner ignite from a neighboring burner if it doesn't start up on its own. It's got cross light brackets. If one burner for some reason doesn't want to start, it'll allow it to be able to light from one of the burners it is going. It's after this grill is fired up and ready to cook that it really has something to show off. Pro 500 features 900 square inches of uh, cooking area. That's more than half a square meter, enough to cook 64 burgers all at once. The list of features goes on to give you even more cooking possibilities. It's got a multi-level cooking system for even heat distribution. There's no hot spots. The rear burner gets high marks for best roast or chicken rotisserie. Nice thing with the rear burner is the heat comes in from the side, all the drippings drop down, and as a result, you don't get the flare-ups. Next on the line is the specialized lid with a space-conscious shape. It's called a roll top lid, which keeps the heat in, and you're able to keep the grill closer to the home because it does fold all the way back. The lid also has a heat shield made from an aluminized material that provides extra protection. What that does is that keeps the exterior cooler so that if someone inadvertently touched it, it's going to help them from being burnt. Assembled separately is the infrared side burner, a superheated tile that reaches 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. What it does is it takes propane or natural gas and puts it through a ceramic tile, superheating the tile, thereby giving a, a nice even heat. Even heat for perfectly seared grill lines. And that is a complete burner side shelf. Starting out by building just over a thousand units a year, Napoleon has now become one of the largest producers of top-of-the-line grills. Last year, we built just a little bit over 37,000 barbecues. 37,000 is more than enough to give everyone in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan a barbecue.
That's a high volume output that needs top of the line quality control. For Napoleon, it's a quality check sheet that tracks every screw and bolt. We have a couple of cases where once a, a particular screw or bolt is put in, we'll take and put a, an ink dab on the end of it to make sure that that particular item was installed correctly. All parts assembled and checked. The final QC is the packaging weigh scale. When I roll the barbecue onto this, it will pick up the weight of it, because if there is something wrong with this and if it is not the accurate weight, it will beep and let me know. Basic unit weighs approximately 90 kilograms. So I'm going to scan in my first order. All right. And oh, we have an error. That didn't work. I have to take it off and do it again. <laughs> Yay. The first prompt is for the grill kit. Next is the shrink wrap kit. It has all the components needed for assembling the barbecue and a bit more. The screws, the bolts, the, in this case, the sear plates are part of that kit. The manual, a little cookbook goes with it. Then, to complete this grilling machine, a drip pan, shelf kit, a hose for the natural gas version, and the rotisserie are all added before the full unit is sent to final packaging. And I'm going to put my passcode on the barbecue bag. What this does is it lets the boxers down there know that everything has been approved, the machine has accepted all the weight and the tolerances, and they can continue on with their order. Once it's in the box, some more kits get added. There is a cart kit, which is the base of the barbecue, and the door kit. Both are manufactured and packaged on separate assembly lines and then added to the final box. The cart kit gets put in, the door kit gets put in, everything that is needed to assemble that unit into a complete finished barbecue. With over 130 parts and five kits, this barbecue is boxed and ready for shipment to anywhere from Moose Jaw to Monte Carlo. And once it arrives, it's a snap to build in any language. The main reason our grills are easy to put together is the owner hated putting together things. So he wanted to make sure it was good for the homeowner. Once it's together, you too can become king of the grill. The part that I like the best is having a real good meal at the end of it.